Number Worlds Level E, Unit 1, Week 6, Lesson 1, Comparing Fractions. Today we are going to find and compare fractions on a number line. Which fraction bar is longer, 1 half or 1 third? 1 half is longer, so which fraction is greater, 1 half or 1 third? If 1 half is longer, then 1 half is greater. Which fraction bar is longer? 1 third or 1 fourth? 1 third is longer, so which fraction is greater? 1 third or 1 fourth? If 1 third is longer, then 1 third is greater. What pattern do you notice about the size of the fraction bar and the denominator of the unit fraction? As the denominator of the unit fraction increases, the size decreases. Lesson 1 Key Idea You can compare fractions by finding them on a number line. Remember to break the whole into smaller parts in order to answer the comparison questions. Where is 3 fourths on this number line? Break the number line into four equal parts. The third tick mark is three-fourths. Try this. Determine which fraction of the same whole is greater. Circle the greater fraction. Number one, is one-half or one-third greater? One-half is greater than one-third. Number two, one-half or three-fourths. Circle the greater fraction. Three-fourths is greater than one-half. Number three, one-fourth or one-eighth. One-fourth is a greater fraction. Number four, one-third or one-tenth. One-third is a greater fraction. Number five, three-fourths or two-thirds. Three-fourths is a greater fraction. Number six, one-half or two-thirds. Two-thirds is a greater fraction. Try page 66 and 67 of your workbook on your own. Lesson two, comparing fractions. What fraction is shown? The fraction shown below is one-third. What fraction is now shown? You would be correct if you said two-sixths. You would also be correct if you said one-third. That's because one-third and two-sixths are equivalent fractions. Today we are going to identify and name equivalent fractions. The word equivalent means equal in value, but in a different form. Equivalent fractions are fractions that have different numerators and denominators, but name the same number. These two one-fourth bars together represent two-fourths. Together, they are the same length as the one-half bar. So, are two-fourth and one-half equivalent fractions? Great job! Two-fourths and one-half are equivalent fractions. Lesson two key idea. Equivalent fractions have the same value, but not the same numerator and denominator. Try this. Write yes or no to answer the questions. Do these models represent equivalent fractions? Look at number one. We have one half and six twelfth. Are they equivalent fractions? This one's a little tricky. So visualize this. It might help. One half and six twelfth are equivalent fractions. Let's look at number two. 
are one-fourth and one-half equivalent fractions? One-fourth and one-half are not equivalent fractions. Look at number three. Are two-sixths and two-eighths equivalent fractions? Two-sixths and two-eighths are not equivalent fractions. Let's look at number four together. Are eight twelfth and four sixth equivalent fractions? Yes, eight twelfth and four sixth are equivalent fractions. Lesson three comparing fractions. Have you ever prepared food using measuring cups like the ones below? Today we will identify and name equivalent fractions and add combinations of different fractions that add up to one whole. These two one-half bars together represent two halves. Are they the same length as the one bar? So does two halves equal one whole? These three one-third bars represent three-thirds. Are they the same length as the one bar? So, does three-thirds equal one whole? These four one-fourth bars represent four-fourths. Are they the same length as the one bar? So, does four-fourth equal one? If you need one half cup of milk, but cannot find your one half measuring cup, you could use your one fourth measuring cup instead. How many one fourth cups of milk will you need? Why? You could use two one fourth cups. Two fourths and one half are equivalent fractions. We can also combine fractions to make one whole. For example, one half plus one fourth plus one fourth equals one whole. Using the number line, what other fraction bars could you use to make one whole? Lesson three key idea. Equivalent fractions have the same value. One half equals two fourths, which equals four eighths. You can substitute one equivalent fraction for another. Let's try a few problems together. I know the directions say to write three equivalent fractions for each fraction listed below, but I would like you to find just one equivalent fraction for each one. Look at number one. Find an equivalent fraction to two thirds. Four sixths is an equivalent fraction to two-thirds. Number two, find an equivalent fraction to four-fifths. Eight-tenths is an equivalent fraction to four-fifths. Number three, find an equivalent fraction to one-sixth. Two-twelfths is an equivalent fraction to one-sixth. Try page 70 and 71 of the workbook on your own. Lesson 4, Comparing Fractions. We can use symbols to describe relationships between two numbers. For this lesson, we will use the less than and greater than symbols to compare fractions. What symbol is shown below? This is the greater than symbol. If the greater fraction is written first, you will use the greater than symbol shown below. What symbol is listed below? This is the less than symbol. If the smaller fraction is written first, you will use the less than symbol shown below. Lesson four key idea. You can use the greater than and less than symbols to write the results of comparing two fractions. For example, one half is greater than one fifth. 
and one fifth is less than one half. Try this. Write less than or greater than in the circle to compare the fractions. Number one, two thirds, and one third. Two thirds is greater than one third. Number two, one eighth and one third. One eighth is less than one third. Number three, seven twelfths and seven eighths. Seven twelfths is less than seven eighths. Try page 73 of your workbook on your own. Lesson five, comparing fractions. Lesson five, review. This week you learned how to compare fractions and how to record those comparisons with words, numbers, and symbols. Try workbook page 74 and 75 on your own.